Thank you, Leticia. Well, Proposition 69 is about requiring the diesel sales tax and transportation improvement fee to be used for transportation related purposes. This proposition is solely about redirecting the taxes and fees collected by Senate Bill 1 to go to projects to improve transportation in California. Now, Senate Bill 1, also known as the Road Repair and Accountability Act, was passed last year. It added a $5.2 billion a year increase, including a 12 cent tax per gallon, a 20 cent tax per gallon on diesel and increase the sales tax on diesel fuel by 4%. Now, given the fact that transportation funds in the past have been borrowed by the California legislature, this measure is designed to put a lockbox on the money designed for road repair work. Senate Bill 1 directs $54 billion to be invested in state highways and local roads over the next 10 years. Opponents of Prop 69 say the lawmakers have broken promises in the past and that this measure will not fix or build any new roads. The Prop Proposition would also prohibit revenue from the new vehicle license fees from being used to pay the general obligation bond debt, and it would exempt the new revenues from state and local spending limits as well. There will be no direct impact on the amount that the state and local governments use, as the measure does not actually change the existing tax and fee rates. However, the measure could affect how some money gets spent by ensuring that revenue from the taxes and fees continues to be spent on transportation purposes. The measure would put the state a little farther below its constitutional spending limit as well. Two Republican lawmakers have proposed this amendment, Catherine Baker and Anthony Canella. Six other lawmakers have sponsored this proposition. And Leticia, back to you.